This is Doodle. Doodle, one day we were holding Doodle and we found a lump about the size of a chickpea. And within a week, it was huge and it was ulcerated and it was bloody and we had it removed. Two months later, Doodle came up with another lump the size of a chickpea. Now it cost us $500 the first time, so we knew we couldn't afford it the second time. So I researched online and I found some different things which are supposed to help cancer and I mixed them together and I'm going to show you how to do that. And Doodle's lump stopped growing immediately at first and then it grew very slowly and it took it four weeks to grow like it had grown in one week before so it at least slowed it down by four times. Then we had surgery again and he's getting over that. Okay, so I'm going to show you how we're going to mix his meds. Thanks. This is Pau Darko. This is something which is recommended both for mice and for people online. For the mice, I read that it goes very well with goji berries. You can get them dry. Then it also takes AHCC, whatever that is, and shark cartilage. All of these things you can either get at uh, a GNC or you might have to order them. All right, so I'm going to show you how I make Doodle's meds. So the first thing I need to do is take my goji berries, and you're going to do this beforehand because this takes a little while. I'm going to take my goji berries, put them in a little dish, and put just a little bit of water in it. All right, maybe about that much, so they barely sort of float. And I'm going to cover them because it goes bad easily. And I'm going to put it in the fridge and let it soak overnight until they're soft. And then I'm going to take it out and I'm going to make a puree. And when I have my puree, I'm going to put it in an ice cube tray. Put in just a very little bit in each one. You'll figure out how much after a while. And once it's frozen, I'm going to take the little ice cubes out and I'm going to put them one by one in little plastic Ziploc bags. When it's time for me to make some meds, and I make two days at once because it goes bad easily, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to have it like this so that I can use it. So here we're going to start making our formula. So I'm going to start with soy yogurt. And the reason that I use soy is that milk yogurt will go bad, whereas soy yogurt you can kind of keep putting back in the fridge for a week and using it again. I'm going to take one teaspoon of soy yogurt and put in each one of these. Better more than less. Okay, and if your rat doesn't like one flavor, try another one. Our boys actually like blueberry best. Now I'm going to take my goji berries and I always start with the liquids because it's easier to mix the powders into the liquids when the liquids are already in it. So I'm going to take one quarter of a teaspoon of goji berries, and put it in each one. All right. So when I first started with the goji berries, I used a quarter teaspoon like this. And what happened is he didn't like it. And so I went down to an eighth of a teaspoon. And that's when the tumor started growing again. And I didn't think about it at the time. Um, but later on, I realized that I should have gone back to a quarter teaspoon. So what I've done is I've put twice as much yogurt and he likes it just fine. So you've got your quarter teaspoon of goji berries and you've got your shark cartilage. You'll probably get it the same strength, 750 milligrams. And I'm going to take one capsule for each one. Now he's getting this twice a day, morning and night. I should mention that, twice a day. So I'm going to put, I'm going to break open the capsules, which you have to be very careful to do so that they don't break. And I'm going to put the powder, make sure you get all of it, squeeze the capsule. I'm going to put the powder in each one. All right, get it all in there. All right, that's my shark cartilage. That's one that my uh, rat person told me I should give to the rat. 
Then I'm going to take the Pau Darko. This is some kind of herb. And this is the one that I had found recommended for both mice and humans. And again, I'm going to put one capsule. These are 500 milligrams. One capsule. And each one, again, being careful not to break the capsule and making sure that I get all of it. And remember, he's going to get this twice a day. And the reason that I'm only doing four of these is that the stuff goes bad easily. It gets moldy. So I only want to do one day in advance. So two days worth of supplies here. Okay. Then I've got my AHCC and it's 500 milligrams and I'm actually only going to use a half a capsule in each one of these. So again, that'll be one capsule per day, a half a capsule per dose. So I'm going to be very careful to make sure, and you can tell when there's about half of this. You can tell that was a half a capsule. I'm going to put the rest of it in here. Oh, I just took four out. That was silly. Okay, and put another half a capsule in here. All right, now got my little knife and you don't necessarily have to have one with little rats on it but um, we do and I'm gonna mix it up and this is where you have to be careful because it doesn't mix very well at all and when you're doing it at first you're gonna look at this and you're gonna say this isn't gonna mix it's just the powder there's too much powder there's not enough liquid but it actually will in the end you just have to keep stirring and stirring make sure you get all the powder Keep stirring it. it. Doesn't look very good, but he likes it. All right, see, look, it mixed. Now I'm going to make very sure that there's no powder along the edges because that would make him sneeze. You don't want him breathing it in. So here we have one dose, which he gets twice a day, of his cancer meds. So I'm going to show you how he eats it, whether he likes it. So here's Doodle again. You're going to see that he loves his meds. So here we have his meds. You saw me mix them up. And here's Doodle. Voila. Very easy to give him his cancer meds. No, you don't get any Puck. This is Doodle's brother, Puck. And he loves his meds. And he will just eat them right up twice a day, morning and night. Uh, try to do it about 12 hours apart. And that is how you keep a ratty either from getting cancer or you slow down his cancer. Now let me say he does not have mammary cancer. I can't guarantee that this will work for mammary cancer.